Hello and welcome. What's up everybody? Thank you for clicking on the video. Really quick before we get into this, if you're watching right now and you're not already subscribed to the channel, do me a favor and just click that little subscribe button. It's free and easy. Help me grow this channel. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the support. But today, we're going to be going fishing with somebody that hasn't been out there on the boat with me in a long time. My best friend. I'm taking fishing for the first time since he almost died. Of course, I'm talking about my boy Cooper, my pit bull, 13 years young. He's an amazing boat dog. He loves going fishing. And it's been a long time since he's been out there on the boat with us on the channel. And today, we're gonna go fishing together. I'm gonna let you guys see how Cooper acts out there on the water while we're catching fish. Let you see his reaction when we actually put a fish in the boat. See how he rides on the boat when we're running. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna hang out on the water. Me and my boy Cooper catch ourselves some fish. Also, I have a little care package here from my friend Dave and another little bonus box right here. We're gonna do an unboxing at the very end of this after me and Cooper go fishing. So watch all the way to the end if you wanna see the unboxing, but first and foremost, me and Cooper, are gonna rip off on Junebug, catch ourselves some fish. Let's go fishing. Second cast, Cooper. All right, buddy, look at that. Oh, got us one. Watch out. Watch out, Cooper. Got treble hooks, man. All right. First fish on the day on the flat finesse F4. Out here with my buddy Cooper. That fish looks like it might be spawning. This water's around 72 degrees, so wouldn't surprise me if they're fanning for whatever reason, randomly. Fall time, but there we go. Fish number one on the crank. I heard with my boy Cooper trying to find us a couple. Ain't that right, buddy? Sweet. Quit stepping on the rods, Cooter. Get your boater etiquette in order. There we go, Cooper. We got one, buddy. It's a guad, Coop. Cooper likes to lick the fish. There we go. He smacked it, Cooper. There's another one, buddy. He freaking crushed it. Smashed it. Hit it like a dang freight train coop. That was awesome. That was a hard bite right there. 
talking about. Hey, yeah. Karate chop, Cooper. Karate chop. Me and my boy Cooper catching ourselves some fish. Lat Finesse F4 cranking. Have not been able to get on a solid square bill bite. Swim jig has been the deal for me. But the homies, the fishing homies, are out here smashing them on cranks. So I'm bound and determined. Oh, there's another one. Bound and determined to get out here and get on a crankbait bite. And we're off to a good start this morning. Cooper, we got another one, buddy. This one is mad. Uh oh. Holy smokes. I had a feeling he was going to come off. Look, Cooper. Cooper likes to lick the fish. We got another one, buddy. How about that? Fish number four. Spot number one. Cast number eight. All right. Building confidence here. Again, that one just freaking melee it, dude. He unleashed the fury, boy. Here goes one of our bird friends. If you guys didn't see my previous video where I hooked a giant bird, go check that out. It's very interesting. The bird got the freaking crank. <laughs> Craziest catch of the day. We got another one, Cooper. Is this number four or five? I can't remember. Five fish makes a video, everybody knows the rules. Just a little guy, Cooper. Where'd he go? Fish live in the water. Isn't that weird, Coop? Isn't that weird, Coop? He's like, bruh, you keep throwing my fish back into the lake. Watch those troubles down there, Cooper. fast oh he's running he's running there he is <laughs> he was just running straight towards us there he came off his little glide gotta be careful horsing on him with these troubles man you will lose some should probably have the net out but i never have the net out i don't know what's wrong with me i'm i'm hard netted hard headed when it comes to the net we got limited limited real estate here on the deck of the boat I'll be freaking wishing I had it out if I hook a dragon, but I guess we'll roll the dice. Hey, watch out, Cooper. Get off the trolling motor. Cooper likes to drive the trolling motor. Every once in a while, he likes to take control, hit buttons, and see what stuff does. Good boy, Cooper. Have a chill, man. Have a chill. So far, the little Six Cents Flat Finesse F4 circuit board lip crankbait flat-sided crankbait is doing work out here getting bit pretty consistently boys i've only fished from like right down there to here maybe 100 150 yards of shoreline finally getting on a little cranking bite been able to pop them here and there on the cheeto but i've really been wanting to get out here and smack them with this f4 especially seeing what dave's been doing what teacock has been doing with it those boys have been crushing it on this bait so shout outs to the homies Thanks for the heads up and the intel. Something you guys might not know if you don't fish all the time or if you don't know a lot of other anglers, but uh, bass fishing is a network. There's a lot of networking that goes down. And when you got good friends that are willing to help, you can you know eliminate a lot of dead water and people are willing to share information. I'm, I'm always one to, I don't hide anything. You guys already know, I put everything on video, so they already know what I'm doing. But man, if anybody asks me about areas of the lake that are fishing good what baits i'm throwing i never do that secret blur in the background top secret you don't get to know what i'm throwing I, i'll tell you whatever man and i've always said this just because you know what i'm throwing or where i'm fishing that don't mean you're gonna catch them and the same goes for me just because somebody tells me where they're catching them and what they're catching them on that doesn't mean i'm gonna go there and catch them 
sometimes your fish are your fish and sometimes your day is your day and sometimes it's not i got bit over here so you got to go find your fish you still got to do it you got to put the work in but there is a, a fair bit of networking that goes into bass fishing especially when it gets tough you know somebody's having a, a rough go at it like man i haven't been on a good bite in a few days are you, are you willing to share anything with me man the, the good folks that i know that i fish with they're always down to help me out man so shout outs to uh teacock and dave the mangler for uh the heads up on this f4 they've been crushing it you guys follow dave and teacock those are my homies i'll throw their instagram names up on the screen right here you go show them some love tell them old jr sent you let's see if we can find us another one that wants to bust on this f4 i got bit a second ago he just didn't get it all the way he just slapped at it they're eating this morning they're eating for us this morning boys me and cooper out here catching some fish yeah cooper's such a good boat dog man look at him just chilling just hanging out he might hit a button on the trolling motor step on a rod here and there but he stays off the baits licks the fish does pretty good about behaving himself that's my man cooper good boy everybody's been sending you positive vibes lots of love cooper everybody's so happy you're healthy doing better good to go say i'm good to go boy cooper's good to go guys once again thanks to everybody that uh you know sent up some prayers and positive vibes for my dog when he was sick coccidia the coccidia infection he's good to go he's already been for his follow-up they gave him a clear bill of health blood work perfect all his exams perfect they got perfectly healthy boy there's one you got one cooper We get him unhooked, I'll let you lick him. There you go, buddy. Another one on the F4. Watch out, Cooper. He got to go back in the water so he can breathe. Me and my boy Cooper catching ourselves some fish. There's one. A little guy maybe he's running towards us and he got a little bit heavier let's see is it a guad he's, he's on the move on the fast move look at him running yeah just a little guad i think if i had to guess i haven't seen him yet but just by the way he's torching around i think this is a little guadalupe bass look at that he smacked it he ate it with his forehead we got us another one cooper just a little guy yeet Shout out to the Guad Squad. Be careful, Cooper. What you doing down there? There's another one. Two casts in a row. Another Guad. Two Guads back to back. There he is, Cooper. Give him a lick. Let him go. mad at me bro sorry i think i'll i think his homie told him watch out for that blue and black skeeter those things are loud from up there when they're screaming like that they're much louder when they're right in your ear screaming <laughs> crazy catch feel that cold wind starting to blow coop we got a little front moving in yeah it was warm this morning now i feel that cold air starting to hit might throw that jacket on soon coop and this f4 shakes thumps like a chatterbait i don't know how well you guys can see my rod tip but it, it just feels like a chatterbait dude got that vibration cooper tried to spot lock us 
can't spot lock right here, Coop. Let's make a move, Cooper. Spot number one produced for us. That wasn't bad at all. We did all right there, Cooper. You ready to roll, Coop? Let's go find us some more to eat for us, man. Cooper, don't put the poles down. Cooper trying to deploy the power poles now. There we go. That one hit it twice. He just ticked it and then came back and freaking hit it with everything he had. We got one, Cooper. It's a white bass. That's what was schooling up next to us that that bird grabbed. It's a decent white too. That's a taco right there for you, Cooper. Be careful, these guys will jack you up, Coop. Look out. Yeah, these things are hyper. Get back. Watch out, buddy. I don't want you to get hooked. Let me get the hook out of them, then I'll let you lick the fish. Oh, and they'll cut you with their uh, gill plates too. You gotta be real careful with these guys. I'm in the danger zone right now, honestly. Get back, Cooper. Cooper making it interesting. Stop it. Hopefully this guy gives up. Stop it, Cooper. <laughs> All right. Sweet. That's a grand slam. So that's largemouth bass, Guadalupe bass, white bass, three different species of legal bass in one trip equals a grand slam. So we just hit us a grand slam, dudes. Cooper likes the white bass. Later, buddy. That's good eating right there. Freaking roasted the F4. Yeah, so I saw some fish busting up near the surface, but they look small. And then I saw a bird come down and grab one of them and fly off with it again. Looked like a smaller fish. And I was like, huh. And that explains it. School of whites right here. Water is super dirty and 67 degrees here. There's a fish. Smacked it out in open water. Pretty shallow here too, man. I had to be really careful while I was running to make sure I stayed right on the line of the river channel. Getting thin. There's one coop. All right, at least we caught one over here.
All right, guys, and there that was. The day started off hot and heavy, smashing them on the square bill, and then it really slowed down. Me and Cooper ripped around for a while, trying to get on a decent bite midday, and it just did not happen. So the day ended with that one single Lone Ranger upriver. It was tough after we hit that first spot, but I had a blast hanging out out there on the water with my boy Cooper, and hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button, drop me a comment, let me know what you thought about Cooper being out there on the boat. What kind of dog do you have? That's what I would really like to know. I know a lot of you guys out there are dog owners yourselves. What breed of dog do you personally own? Drop it in the comments, and uh, thank you guys so much for the interaction and for helping me grow this channel. It really means a lot. But right now, we're gonna get off into those boxes that I talked about. First and foremost, this box right here, I wanna give a shout out to the almighty Heater Army, all the channel members. The Heater Army continues to grow with every video. And this right here is the last piece of the puzzle. We're gonna be doing a Heaters Only live stream where anyone who is a member of the Heater Army can join, hang out with me in the live chat, in the live stream, ask me anything you want. It's just gonna be like a chill hangout session where I interact with the Heater Army and just hang out with you guys. Something that I've been planning for a long time and I've been slowly building the pieces that will enable me to do like a quality live stream. And the last thing that I needed was a good camera. This right here is the OBS bot. It's a 4K AI facial tracking webcam. And I did a lot of research trying to figure out what webcam I wanted to go with. And I ended up grabbing this bad boy right here. And I'm excited to put it to use in the first ever Heaters Only live stream. So if you guys are interested in learning more about that and you want to become a Heater Army member yourself, click that top link down below in the video description. That'll tell you everything you need to know. Once again, shout out to massive thank you to the ever-growing Heater Army. And speaking of the Heater Army, the Heater Army General, the Mangla, my brother from another mother, actually sent me a little care package in the mail. And I'm gonna go ahead and bust into it right here on camera. I have an idea of what's in here, but I'm not 100% sure. So let's just check it out together. Once again, shout outs to my brother Dave. He's a real one. If it wasn't for him, we would not even be out on the water right now is the prop that I'm currently running on my Skeeter is Dave's. He had to lend me a prop because mine cracked and Yamaha has yet to replace it. Under warranty, been waiting for like half a year for a new prop, but Dave sent us something. We're gonna check it out. Look at that. He threw it in a little six cent sack. And inside this Ziploc sack, I saw this on Dave's story the other day. He was tying up some swim jigs and he made this one right here. I can't remember what he was calling this color, but dude, Look at that. That is fire. I could check my phone maybe. I think he told me the name of these swim jigs. Got that pink in there. Let me see. Let me find the DMs. Mangler's Magic. Love it. So these are divine swim jig heads, looks like. Check out these skirts, man. Just a beautiful shad color with some pink incorporated. Very nice. Mangler's Magic. A little three piece. No biscuit. Oh, look at this one. The third one. He's even laced that up with a blade. That right there. Chatterbait status. So, stoked to have these. This is a color that not many people will have. And I have a feeling that that's going to be a clear water destroyer here on our home lake, man. Thank you, Dave, for the swim jigs and for the bladed jig. Much love, brother. Dave has been a Heater Army member forever. I think he was one of the very first, if not the very first, Heater Army member. And like I said, he's my brother from another massive supporter of us here on the channel. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful to have people like him in my corner riding with me and hooking me up with awesome baits like that. Thank you, Dave. Seriously appreciate it. But that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Check out SixthSenseFishing.com for all the heat. You know the deal. JR10 for the win. Punch in JR10 at checkout. 10% off the entire website. I appreciate you all for taking time out of your day to watch this video. But that's about all I got for you today. That about does it. That about wraps her on up. So I'm going to say goodbye for now and i will see you on the next one we about to roll the outro with all the heater army members if you want your name on this list check out the link to join the heater army down below in the description much love guys see you later